The NFL on EA Sports has come to the Twin Cities at U.S. Bank Stadium in downtown Minneapolis. The scene a short time ago, this crowd decked out in purple, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. We're ready for football, folks, as the Vikings get set to do battle with the Buffalo Bills. Get strapped in. It's just about time to get the party started. And we are underway from downtown Minneapolis. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. First and 10 at their own 19-yard line. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Allen. Now they go screen. It's complete. A good first down call as the screen play gets a nine. Up at the 29 now. They'll head to the line. Second and a yard. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A gain of nine yards. First down, Buffalo. Here's Allen to throw it. He's got to complete to Stephon Diggs. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs, 63 yards. And the Bills have taken the early lead. Well, that's how they envisioned it, get the football to start the game and score it. And I don't know if that was scripted, was it an audible, or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And they're on 24-yard line. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their own 24. First carry now for Dalvin Cook. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. Shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. 16 yards, a first down. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. From the gun, here's Cousins. That'll be complete to Cook. He had a great move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. There should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. On third down, Cousins. He gets this one into the hands of Dalvin Cook. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Give him eight yards on the play, and they pick up the first. So first and ten now in Buffalo territory at the 43. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. You know, with the dime look on defense, two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. On second down, Cook. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. 
Cousins from the gun on third. Complete Jefferson the target. And he will have the Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Cousins in step with Jefferson that time. First down Vikings. First and 10 at the 32-yard line. Cousins gives way to Cook. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Cousins throw complete to Thielen, and he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 17-yard line. There, and this methodical drive continues. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. First down, here's the run with Cook. He'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. First and goal, and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. They'll run with Cook, and he will score! Touchdown, Vikings! A six-yard touchdown run, and the Vikings are an extra point away from tying this thing up. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that, and it wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind, and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Take over first and 10. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive, that culminating touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. Hardy Nickerson there to make the tackle. From the 39, Allen. It's caught left side by John Brown. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. To John, John Brown, Brown. 61 yards. And the Bills have taken the lead. Well, if the plan is to come in here and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys, it certainly does not hurt if you hit him with a big shot along the way, too. That's got to give him some confidence. And the other thing right now, it quiets this crowd, at least for the time being. Yeah, that is what is called the intended consequence of their actions. Oh, second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. Second just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. A game there of 21 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Brings up second and four. On the ground, it's caught. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Interior of that line blocked 
really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they block well, too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, but their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good... And he'll get him! Touchdown, Minnesota! Delvin Cook with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Vikings are an extra point away from tying this thing up. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. That ties the game at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. Coming up here at halftime, we'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first-half highlights and analysis from a back-and-forth first half that we've seen. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. A completion, yes, but certainly not what they wanted. A loss of a full six yards. Good yardage there on the scramble, and all of a sudden, they're left with a third and two, much more manageable. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. He gets it to Brown, good play. And he's going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And he's got it across the midfield stripe and into Viking territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Brings up second and four. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one, closed quickly, and helped force the incompletion. Allen from the gun on third down. Forced out to his left. He may try and run for this. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. On first down, Allen. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Back to the air on second down, it's Allen. He's going deep for Brown. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. Rolling to his left. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. And it's fourth down. A final shot before half for Allen. He's going to fire one deep. Dawson Knox as time expires in the first half. And the Bills have broken the tie. And just before the half ends, the prayer is answered defensively a disaster there. I know often we're surprised when this actually works. I mean, the excitement level goes way up, but maybe we shouldn't be because I know as a defender, you've got to play the ball in this situation, but you can't interfere with the receiver because remember, it's a spot foul, and it'd be first and goal if it happens in the end zone, and you don't want to give up that play. That little bit of hesitancy often works really well for offensive guys. Tyler Bass to kick off for Buffalo. The Vikings set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail it here as we resume play. On the return, here comes Amir Abdullah. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Vikings take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line.
Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And that last touchdown drive, a good mix of pass and run. Defensively, they just looked a little out of whack. And it's so hard to stay. Double team, and it's intercepted. Terrell Johnson able to pick it. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. First and ten, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. On the counter, this is Singletary. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. 12 yards that time, and a Bills first down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. On first down, they stick with Singletary. And he is going to lose yardage here. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Allendale looks to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. First down. Give him 32 on the play. Oh, I think we all understand his disappointment. He didn't quite get to the end zone. And you know it's just got to be tough to see a yard line underneath you after a play like that. Still, all in all, a huge play. And now they're set up first and goal at the one. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Out to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Third and goal and still a long way from the end zone. From the gun, it's Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Allen on target there to Stephon Diggs. And the Bills will extend their lead. Always in. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Uh, let me go ahead and show my age a little bit. I liked it when they would fake it from the three-yard line, right? When you'd line up, go ahead, and oh, there's a fake, and now he's going to get two. That's great. From the 15, the risk reward is just not there. So risky to get 15 yards on a fake. Oh, you see the result right there. Yeah, I know these young whippersnappers are trying to do different things in this game, but let's go back to old reliable. Kick the ball through the post. Get off my lawn. That's darn right. So left side to start the drive is complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. That will throw here to his running back. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 12 yards there, first down, Vikings. Working out of the gun, Cousins. Knocked away and incomplete. It was Teron Johnson that time who had that play covered from the start. Glad to have you with us from Minneapolis. Third quarter here, second and ten. They run, Cook. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 15 yards on the play, first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays. Three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Cousins able to connect with Adam Thielen. And the Vikings are able to make this a close game again. And the lead will shrink to six. Makes the score. Bills 27. Vikings 21. So here comes the kickoff, and what now is just a one-score, six-point game. And this will make it into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. At their own 23-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Now left side on the swing pass. He's got daylight. 30. The 
20, 10. Devin Singletary, 77 yards, and the Bills will add on to their lead. The Bills are lining up for a two-point. Well, that is certainly a deflator right there defensively. Their guys just came off of a touchdown drive. They're back in the game, and then bam, they give up a touchdown one play later. How about that? And the momentum, which seemingly had shifted the other direction, thought we might be seeing a comeback. <laughs> that momentum right back the other way. But that is certainly not complimentary football that we saw right there. The defense is supposed to help their offense, not give up another touchdown. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. First and 10 at their own 23-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 35. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? To throw, Cousins. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. And they'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? First and 10. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. They'll run on first down. Cook, and he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. They run it again with Cook. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. Cousins on third and two. This will be caught at about the five. Cousins, the completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. No gain on the play. It's fourth down. Cousins to throw for it on fourth. Flushed out right. Turn the pylon caught. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run for it with Cook, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Taking it in from two yards out, and the Vikings are able to make this a close game again. So he's in for his third score of the game, and defense probably saying, man, we, we don't want to see this guy for a long time. It's bad enough when anyone scores a touchdown against you, but for one person to get three, it almost sets him apart from the rest of the game, and no one wants to see any of those players on a pedestal, not from the defensive point of view. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. This taken in about four yards deep, and Roberts choosing not to bring this one out. At their own 25-yard line. The 
Mahomes come to the line to start their next drive. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, and then, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. John Brown, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills will add on to their lead. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive, and it seemed like they had maybe given up momentum. Not so fast. No, not at all, because they end up pushing the lead up once again, and you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Vikings take over first and 10. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. yard line To throw again on second down. Cousins. And Cook has it, left side. Broke a tackle, but not much room there ultimately. Just up past the 25 and no further. It's a give him three on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. There's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up Ford. by Josh Norman. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Desperation time. Cousins on fourth down. Johnson with a completion over the middle. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. have had their struggles, but they've been good enough to get them this lead and another nice play there to help preserve the lead. It's been a game of punch-counter-punch, punch, hasn't it? All throughout. But this time, the big swing was taken, and it didn't land. Nice play by them on defense. And nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it'll wind up just being incomplete. So Allen's going to look to throw. Flush to his right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Michael Pierce, in all of his 340-pound glory, gets the sack. On third and long, it's Allen. Being chased out left. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. And Daniel Hunter, he's the one who gets in there and brings him down to the ground. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. 
And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game. Instead, they're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. Throwing again, Cousins on second and ten. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. From the gun, here's Cousins. He's going to let it fly. Able to connect, incomplete. Took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. But this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Bills are going to take over in excellent field position. First down, Singletary. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And three. At the 30. And Allen is actually going to throw it here. Buying time to his left. He's going to go deep for Beasley. Oh, he almost had it for the pick. Great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. He was covered by Jeff Gladney. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. He's going to try and go deep again. In the heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Harrison Smith. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Vikings take over first and 10. And the Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happening in the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the field and find out where the game is really long. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. From Minneapolis, so long, everybody.